Welcome back. Here we are. Back to working on a 1968 C10. 71, we're going to take another break from that. You guys are starting to learn how much I like exhaust work. It's kind of fun, but very, very time consuming. And it will test your patience. That's why I work on two things together, alternate off. A couple of reasons. You get held up on something, waiting for parts or whatever, you can keep right on working over here on something else. Rather than just sitting around waiting for parts or driving extra distance or paying overnight or something like that. Silly. Well, I'm still making progress on the exhaust on the 1971 C10 in Spanish gold. But today we're going to keep her under covers, relax, work on the 68. Kind of an exciting video for me, I hope. I'm nervous. You know how things happen when you guys are watching. But we're going to make our first attempt at fitting the 6 liter in the 68 frame. Today we'll tell the tale of how well I did on stuff. I've never put a C, excuse me, a 6 liter in a C10. It's just a motor. Metal bolt. Got to fit. It's just a matter of how much work it is. Anyhow, here behind me, you don't need to see up close. This is the motor mount right here that we use, that we are going to use. It's kind of a simple kit. They sell a lot of different kits, but this is the one that the owner bought, uh, Tom. I think he got it for Christmas from his boy. I don't know. Dustin, anyway. We'll call them pedestals, the brackets that the motor mounts bolt into that the motor mount bolt on the engine. I like the looks of them, I like the style better than the high pedestal style. It keeps the motor lower and down into the truck a little farther. Not always necessary, but I'd like to keep your weight low, center of gravity, and it should align the rear end differential and drive shaft have less of a pitch. Yeah, it probably doesn't matter. I'm just being finicky. But I'll show you what style they are. If you use this style of adapter or mounting plates, you don't need any other adapters. You need to buy the, I don't remember, it doesn't matter. 02 is the year I bought. 2002 Camaro 5.3 liter motor mount. I'll put that in his book in case you ever need to be replaced. People aren't wondering what you use. Pretty simple. It's supposed to bolt right to the motor and the bolt's supposed to go right in mounts. Well, we'll see about all that, won't we? A couple other things here, and I'll show you this stuff. I'll set this down. My fear for the day. This motor was pulled out of another truck that was in an accident. It ran really good. Strong engine. Got headers on it and a tune and all that. I never rode in it, but we'll find out because I'll be riding in it when it's done. But here's our 6 liter. And it's going to mount, eventually, one way or another, right in these brackets. And we're going to try and make it happen today. I'm not fond of how this motor is being held. There's one bolt on each corner, and this lifting strap. Now, the lifting strap's fine. It's probably way better than chains anyway, because you're not dragging chains across your electronics and different stuff. So I do like the strap but I don't like the two little bolts. So if it falls off here, it'll make for a great video, but it'll make for a bad night. We'll take that trade off. So the first thing I did was jack it up with a, with a hoist here for the lift. You know, nobody wants to argue that. It hoisted it off the floor. We drug this in last year and, and had, I don't know, gallon of transmission fluid on the floor. And then I, I jacked it up here today and that kind of held me up in my video because I probably put another gallon or two on the floor. And I, uh, I use this, this floor dry. It's actually called sawdust. It comes from my bandsaw. It's powdery. It absorbs quite well. But as you see, I have a full bucket here. And I have a full bucket under that there. <laughs> and then it's still dripping right there. So what we're going to do first thing before I go any farther... Just, just take a baggie and a zip tie, or two, 
And all we're going to do is slip that over that end. And that'll hold the next couple of drips while I'm moving it. Well, that's the plan anyway. Excuse my butt. That's, that's the plan. Let's get this fitted in the truck. Let's we'll see how it goes. She's gonna be, she's gonna be fun. Gonna be good times. The best thing, let me show you this real quick. I'm, I'm impressed with this guy. Can't remember his name right now, so forgive me, Cody. He uh, took this motor out of his wrecked truck. Good guy. Took the time as he cut each wire. I'm not mad about that. Marked it. Fuel pump. Fuel pump something. This is the first time I've read it. Power. Okay, I get that. And I mean all of them. We'll find out. These are obviously grounds. But he took the time to mark them ground just in case you didn't know. For the electric fans. That's going to make my job just immensely easier. More grounds. It's really going to help me out a ton. So thank you again, Cody. Sorry I forgot your name. Uh... I'm sure Tom appreciates it too. The brackets that were used, he made himself. They don't look good on the truck, but I bet are sitting here now. But if I know him, probably when it was in the vehicle, it looked very nice. We'll have to redo those. Here's where your computer plugs in. We're not going to bore you with wiring. I won't bother you at all with that. But we'll talk about it after it's done and maybe once or twice during the process to see how well these marked ones do for me. But again, thank you. That is just phenomenal. So here we go, we're going to give her a try, but before we do, we're going to get these motor mounts attached. What I've done to save you a moment of just watching me flounder around on the floor like an old frog, is I already put one on, it on. there's my bolts. So here it is, we just talked about it. I don't believe there's a left and a right because they're the same part number, which I probably shouldn't show you because some of you people will be interested. I already did the other side, but I should have done this side because it's... Got wires in the way. It's a C, not a C10, it's a six liter thing. There's always stuff in the way. I don't know which way we like it better. Does it matter? I don't know, I'm going to go with the rivets on top. Maybe I don't have a choice with this. I'll just shut up and do it. So it gets tucked in there around these wires. I know my head's in the way, and my head's always in the way. Oh. Looks like fun. And I'll just frog around with it. It seems to fit, so we're going to put it in. Don't make fun of my bolts. I don't have the proper bolts. They don't come with the bone, and they weren't in the truck. Excuse me, I keep calling the truck. They weren't in the block. So I got the right bolt, but it's too long. The stack of washers on there, so I know they're not staying. Some of you guys are like, yeah, he's leaving them. No, I'm not. Those will have, because motor mounts will eventually go bad, and if I know the owner of this truck, he's going to he's gonna work them. He's going to give them a fair work over. I don't know, but I believe it. He's just one of them guys, and I, I, I get it. If there's a little more puddle left between your foot and the floor, why, why wouldn't you use it? I mean, he paid for it. He's got the power. He enjoy it. You might as well use it. So these will have, when I'm done, I'll put in the proper length and size hardened bolt. Then if you ever got to get back in and take them out, you don't have to worry about them breaking off. Worst thing about a, you probably can't see, because look at me, I'm looking through the header here, and yeah, that wrench won't even fit in there. My point being, there's just no room to work in here, and I'm not even got it in the truck yet. So the poor son of a gun that has to replace this someday, if the bolts break off, that's going to make for a bad day. So it's not that it needs hardened bolts because I think the engine will torque them off or break them or anything. But I use a hardened bolt in this particular instance just for, yeah, I thought that would work. But no, not when you guys are watching, I need a wrench. That's okay. It, it's, it's not going anywhere. You just fit. Anyway, I do that for, we talk about this all the time. Accessibility, being able to work on this vehicle when you're done, maintenance. Nobody wants to have to pull a motor out just to put a motor mount in and change the oil or something silly. All right, that's enough horsing around. We frogged around and we horsed around. We still have to monkey around before the day is over. So I'll get you, uh, I'll get you situated where you can watch me. <laughs> you guys are watching me.
you can watch me move this thing around and try to get in the truck. So I'll get you back here. Excuse me. And uh, let's go in from where it's at to in there. So if it comes crashing down the floor, that's just a big old. I believe we're going to need a different oil pan before this is all over with anyway. This one is a truck pan, so it's extra low. And uh, I'm not sure it'll fit in this, this particular lowered vehicle. You probably don't know it, but I'm really nervous right now. People do this all the time, every day. They don't worry about it. Mainly, it's not mine. And that strap on the bolt. I worry too much. I know. Just do it. Get it done. Right. I think you usually do this with two people, don't you? Now, I don't have one of them fancy rotators on mine. Don't get your feet under there either. And I never really thought it was important, but now I kind of wish it did. We'll, we'll fight through it. Oh, I'm struggling. Did I ever tell you guys I'm not a mechanic? Yeah, you probably figured that out by now. And I always make things look harder than they are, you know that. Do I look nervous? I'm getting less nervous. That's probably a bad idea. cheap engine crane, probably not made for an engine and transmission. That's all right, we're going to get her in there one way or another. I think we can slide it right there. You might want to fast forward and skip all this dangerous part, scary part. No, for some of you this is the best part. <laughs> you probably got to go up higher, I'm just too nervous. Just too scared. Don't be scared. It's gonna be all right. I make this look easy. No, no. See, I'm even, I'm even blabbing, babbling because I'm worried about it. Come on, baby. I'm not very fluid at this, am I? That's all right. I got enough fluid on the ground to cover all that. I don't want. You know, this is a polished floor, and I have steel wheels on my engine crane. We'll give it another name. And I still can't get it to roll. I even swept up to make sure I wouldn't get hung up on a rock. I, if I could pause and come back to this, I would. My fancy camera don't do that. Okay, I, I meant to do that. Well, I wish I could just say my battery went dead or the camera got too hot. Something to get me out of this mess. Whew. Maybe this wasn't a good idea for a video, eh? She escaped. Didn't bother, didn't scare me a bit. because I'm nervous or am I sweating because I'm working. It's working. No. Oh, Gotta go up a little more. What's the better? Just point more high enough. If it fell, it breaks on. This looks real nice. I've never been this close down here. Looks like you put a new oil pump and uh, 
Diamond chain cover on it, that's nice. I think we're, we're able to go. I think we're able to move forward a little more. She's blew that dust off. I'll clean all this up before we put the cab on. That's, if I can get this done before the 30 minutes is up, I'll explain that to you. This, is, this ain't gonna work, I can already tell. The problems you have with lowered vehicles, I'll show you here in a second. We're gonna get it. watching. I'm just kidding. Uh, but not really. We run into a, well, two issues. I might as well just show you. We run into a clearance issue here. Lowered vehicle things. So here's my engine hoist. That ain't even close to going underneath there. I mean, I'm inches off. Then I forgot to tighten the tires down. We just put them on there to make it a roller. I never, I never bothered to. They're just hand tight, so give me a second, and I'll just, I'll just put one or two tight for you. I'm gonna do them all on the go. Fine. I'll do the other side too. Just take a second. We're not, I don't know what we're going to do here. I don't know, jack the truck up. That won't work. Somebody has an idea. Call me real quick. Or Morsky, if you want, you can call me. <laughs> yeah, that's fun. You have no idea I even exist. But Wes. Wes, he'll come. No, Wes. Wes don't know me either. Huh? DD Speed Shop? Probably not. Uh, actually, Morsky does know me, but at any rate. Uh, what do we do now? Hmm. See, if I jack the truck up in order to push my hoist in, engine crane, lift, whatever you want to call it, and I set the motor down, I guess it'll work. And I can't get my crane back out because the way we on it. Yeah, I think I gotta jack up I gotta jack up the frame. Then slide this in, mount it down. I wasn't prepared for that. And it's gonna be Kitty Wampus. I don't know. I'm done talking about it. I'll just grab my jack. Again, I don't I don't have a pause button on here, so bear with me. I'll I'm gonna grab my jack. I'll be right back. Or you can fast forward 15 or 20 seconds. Either way, I'll talk you through it if you don't if you don't fast forward it. Of course, I'm using the jack right now, so yeah, that's gonna be loud. I'm you one more time. Did I, did I tell you I'm not a mechanic? <laughs> yeah, you figured that out, I know. We might as well just take this to the mall. What's it matter? It's not any heavier up higher, right? I think that's all my jacks got. As high as I can go. I got jack stands and all that. It's not an issue. Let's, let's give this a couple of palms. Just enough. Can you still see? Did I move you around where you can't see? Eh, we'll get you down there. This is what we're worried about right there. We get that jacked up enough to get that under there. And we'll be good to go. So while I'm working on this, I'll tell you. I talked to Tom about the fuel system. Again, this is 6 liter. 
But don't quote me off the top of my head, but I believe it's 45 to 60 maybe PSI for the fuel. That's fuel pressure to the rail. And I only mention that so that you know there's a high side to it. I think it's like it's supposed to be 60, but you can go 75. Again, we can argue that all out. But he had mentioned, wow, I didn't want to go that He had mentioned, why not? What's the matter? Two it's a long way. Putting a supercharger in this. I mean, who wouldn't, right? Do I have enough room yet? Good gracious, I do. I need shorter jack stands. They make those? I don't have them, but they do. That's a long way. I'm not scared. Well, if you put the supercharger on it, then what's the fuel pressure got to be? So, did I waste my time getting the fuel system? What we come up with is I'm going to buy him a fuel system that's the same. Don't worry about that. That's the same as my trucks. So if in a year he wants to uh, put a supercharger on this, and if I know him, he will. Probably be a year or two, I don't know. But I'm going to roll this jack around. Excuse me. That will definitely clear it now. That we're up four more inches than we need to. Yeah, no, I keep going back and forth. So if we put a supercharger in it that requires more fuel or a higher pressure, that's fine. We, uh, we discuss how we would handle that, and I'll just buy his fuel system off him. Now, I say fuel system. I'm just talking about, you might as well get this view for a while. I'm just talking about the fuel pump, well, and a filter, but. They're not that much money, but if you think of wasting a hundred dollar beer, nobody wants to waste a hundred dollar bill. Well, because I use that system on other trucks, I'll buy it off and put it in one of my vehicles just because it's used or sell it to somebody as a use, it would be cheap. So we have that as a backup. Now, I'm being quiet because I you know I'm still scared, not really, just being cautious. We got my gutter up there, don't we? That's all right. These are like five or ten ton jack stands. We ain't got to worry about them let loose. My gracious, that's a long way out. Did I tell you that that engine hoist is already maxed? <laughs> I don't know. What are we going to do? It'll be fine. Oh, I won't. Things I do. My jack went too far. I wanted to yell owl, but I didn't want to scare you guys. Alright. That killed some content time, didn't it? Let's see if we can get this bad boy in there. I told you it's the first fitting. I'm just going to lift this by hand. Gently guide it over thinking the whole time if it falls, now I'm going to move my fingers. Look at that. No problem. Glad I put that baggie on there, eh? Just trying to share some ideas with you. I don't know if you guys are scared. I keep saying it, don't I? I'm going to shut up about that. It's going to be fine. You can get it to roll in there. I joked about Dee Speed Shop, but he changes motors constantly. I think he even borrows motors out of cars sometimes and puts them back. He has so much fun moving the darn things. Not me. I'll do a few engine changes. I have to. How we doing? How's it look from your side? I don't know, but this wheel here is getting some attention when I get done. You look all right from your end? I see the line. I think you're all right. I said first fitment. This might be the first and last. I hope to leave it in there. Now I see why they all fast forward here. Putting their hands in 
transmission lines got me a little concerned. I don't want to bend them off. They will swivel on their own. There's rubber in there. Let that go. I take my coat off. My brace is on. Ah. I got the wood heat on, so it's warm in here. I'm old, so I sweat easy. Get cold easy. Blah, blah, blah. How we doing? Are we getting it in there? I think we're good. Let's take care on the other side. This is a kind of a point of contention right here. We're not there yet. Here's our mounting bracket and our mount right up there. We still got a ways to go. But it's going good. On these, on these fancy wheels that don't roll. I'm literally sliding these steel wheels on my new floor. Whatever. Looks like they're supposed to go on the bottom side of it, but I. Why did I think it would fit? It's not gonna fit. We're gonna still gonna try. All right, I want to ease her down in there. Have you guys ever run one of these engine hoist crane lifts? They're not easy to ease down. They usually just come down like six inches fast. Now here it goes. I said here it goes. Huh? Not bad. What do you think? I think it's going to go right in there. No, not quite. The transmission lines are going to need some, going to need some attention. Let's put it on a little more. That looks pretty good to me. Uh, yeah. See, now we're too far back. I knew that would happen. I think those training lines will go under, but they're going to need some manipulation. And that's probably not going to be a lot of fun. Just like break, bending brake lines. I know how much you guys love watching that. Shh, that's funny. Boy, i got to let her down some more. Looking like a better fit than I thought. Maybe somebody manipulated them a little already. We can go a little lower and hope for the best. Keeps creeping back on me. Sorry, I'm pulling it's easier to push it. And at this point, we'll probably take a gander at the transmission. Oh, she's going to be pulled. Like, like fit like a glove. Let's take a quick look at the transmission model right here. Oh, our time's up. Looks like the transmission mount's going to be fine. We'll have to make some kind of... It looks like it needs a block to go higher. I'll bring it back on the next video. But Our time's up. I hope you enjoy it. Come again next week or maybe I'll throw another one in. You never know. Keep an eye out for a video. Again, I appreciate you. See you soon.